In the small village of Buki in Ukrainian's Zhutomir region, the town council took away a couple's three children, citing neglect. But the parents believe it was actually due to their religious convictions and vegetarianism. They are Ridnaviri, Slavic neo-pagans who believe in close spiritual connection with the earth. Their children, aged between 4 and 11, were sent to a children's rehabilitation home in the city of Zhutomir for over a month. Алло, Богданочка, привіт. Ангеліночка, ух ти, доченька, так здорово, що Богдана нету. Привіт. Льовка. Привіт, Льовушка. Да. Що, гречку или какую другую? Хорошо. Сладких снов тебе, сыночек. И ангелинки передали. Сладких снов прекрасно. Да, я тебя целую, солнышко. О, Богданочка, это ты прибегла? Сегодня обовязково поговори с богами, чтобы и тебя захистили, и деток також. Добре? Я тебя очень люблю. The couple visits their children every day at the children's home. The doctors and psychiatrists are trying to investigate the strange phenomenon of our children are healthy and socially adapted. Social workers continue to look for justification for their own actions. The village council disagrees with the family and says the children were taken because of the parents' neglect and the decision did not come lightly. The final straw was in 2016. According to the eldest daughter, the mother left her to look after her younger siblings. It was winter. The children went around the village asking for food. I prepared orders to take away the children immediately, but then the committee decided to work with them one more time. Only when the children went by themselves to Jutomir were they taken away. The police arrested them in a mall, dirty, sloppy, tired. The younger daughter, Angelina, had tonsillitis and a leg injury that had turned into an abscess. Furthermore, the psychologist at the children's home says there is dissonance between the parents' spiritual convictions and the needs of their children. The children were taken away because the police found them in shopping malls without parental supervision. The children visit Jodomir by themselves alone. The children wish to eat meat, fish, eggs. They said that they are delicious, but they are afraid that the parents will know. I saw how they came to an agreement that they wouldn't tell mother. Let's say that we only ate salad. They love their mother and are afraid to be perceived as breaking her rules. Villagers express support for the village council's decision. The children are naked, barefoot, dirty, running on asphalt. When I see them, I take my own kids home. Go home and play there. They will even ask me for sausages. They tore out parsley from my garden. The children would tear out the neighbor's tulips. Their faith is incomprehensible. But the most important thing is that the children need to be watched. The local elder, Anatoly Krasnitsky, says that he was told that social services took the children due to the lack of supervision. He called me from the medical center saying that they were running around by themselves and pouring water from the well over themselves. As a result, they were placed under the supervision of social workers. The city council examined the case three times and the parents pray and pray. They go to the mountain, she gets stuck naked and he's in underwear, someone in the spirit or something like that. Children are children, they should be with their mother, but we have to take care of them instead. However, a local grocer says that while the children do buy meat dumplings when the parents are not around, they do not look hungry or neglected. The father denies claims that his children are neglected. This is as if someone bought a packet of sweets and invited them to the yard saying, children, come here. Have they spoken to the children asking them if they were hungry? They were never completely unsupervised. The children have a phone and we are always in contact with them. Instead, both parents emphasize that they give the children freedom. 
All the parents that I know surround their children with constant rules. Don't go there. Don't do that. You'll drown there. And over there, you'll be run over by a car. They have a lot more rules than our children. On July 31st, the Zhutomir city court decided to return the Botenkov Shevluk children to their parents. However, the case is far from closed. There is another court date set for September 24th to determine the fate of this family. Nevertheless, Svetazar and Svetazora are eager to have their kids back home. Our home was filled with constant laughter and jokes. Even when they were doing or working on something, drawing, reading, it seemed quiet. But there was always such energy that they felt they were at home. It's so strange. Empty, with no children.